Hello, everybody. Conrad Zimmerman here, taking another look at another game. This is Devil's Dare. It is uh, now on Steam. Uh, I, as you can see, I've played a little bit. We'll start uh, a game from the beginning here. There we go. One player. Yep. If you look real carefully, right there, you can see me. I'm in this game. So, full disclosure, I'm represented in this game. Um, it is a very simple kind of beat -em up game. It's just a two-button beat -em up This is something that uh, is very, very basic, but has just a little bit of... Oh, no, I don't want to skip the cutscene. Uh, there's Anthony Carboni up there. Um... But it's a, it's a game that's really about sort of manipulating enemies to sort of keep them corralled and you want to kill them at the appropriate time to get the most benefit. Um, it's not really, really hard, but it does take some uh, some getting used to. And it has a, a death mechanic that is like it's almost permadeath to where as you collect money in the game, um, if you die, you can spend a pretty considerable amount of cash and and get another life but uh, then that amount increases and it becomes challenging so here we got our pixie dude ivan the red fairy the game has is uh, full of references and such so here clearly we have our kind of just skipping through this so there's uh four playable characters to start and then you unlock Anthony and Jonathan from Bite Jacker as playable characters later. I'm gonna play as Axel. I keep hitting the wrong button. Of course it's me. Let's go. And there is a, a new player tutorial that sort of teaches the basic mechanics. I'm gonna skip that. Screw it. I've played this before, I can explain it to you. So it's it is just a two button uh, beat 'em up as I mentioned before. Uh, we're gonna get a little stage select here, sewer, train, hallway, the road. Let's do let's do the sewers. Why not? And so as you can see here, you have your basic attack and then special attack buttons and that's it so no fancy jump in or anything like that but when you get the opportunity to finish an opponent if you can do it with a special move you get more money and I am doing terribly at that see there we go got a fatality by using a special attack and then they drop extra cash bags Pretty simple. You can dash and get hit by those things if you're not careful. And so you want to corral enemies together because the more enemies you can kill simultaneously, the better benefits you get. Um, by killing three or more people, I was uh, able to get them to drop some food. Pretty neat, huh? Yummy. And then the little blue icons there, those uh, refill special ability. Nice. You do have a limit on how much you can use it, and if you go beyond your maximum, you have to wait for that meter to fill all the way back up again before you can get more use of your special attacks. This guy's a pain in the ass. You have to use a, a running attack or a special attack to get him out of his little protective gel, and then keep him from getting in there again. It's one of several special enemy types in the game. See, look at him ducking in there. Bastard. Get that money. And we progress along in a little trap thing here. Not this time. Destroyable environmental objects. It really has all of the elements of the classic beat em up. Yeah, that's right. And we get three in the corner there to get free health. Not too shabby indeed. Ah. 
Uh, now you saw there what happened. It went into a uh, a counterattack thing, uh, gave me the opportunity to um, react to an attack, and that's that's pretty useful. Um, you just press both of your buttons together once you take an attack, and you can counter. And that goes with most attacks. Oh, I was too late hitting him with that. Bummer. Such a klutz. Keep wandering right into that. As my cat tries to eat my mail. I wish you guys could see this. My cat is trying to eat my mail right now. It's pretty weird. New, no, sir. Oh, I hate that. There's... One of the problems with this is that the character doesn't move that quick, and avoiding those, uh, getting out of an animation to avoid those kinds of attacks is, is difficult. Those sort of area effect enemies. I'm a big guy, and I'm gonna smash you now. I was able to kill the big guy with a fatality, getting a nice gold bar. Got all these guys together. And massacred. I don't like it, these. Got both of them, that's good. Fatality is on those two guys, because there's no way I was going to get this guy killed in time for that, but that's okay. We'll still get his gold bars. And it's a boss. It's science. A reference to the fly. Presumably. He's got a... But he's got, like, Mega Man's blaster. For some reason. And he teleports around. He's kind of a bitch. All the bosses in this are, are challenging. This one's just... He's more annoying than actually difficult until the second half of the fight when he starts to get a little overwhelming. He moves around a bit too much. But as you can see, I'm holding my own at this point at least. And he keeps teleporting in right behind me foolishly, so I'm able to keep him pinned in this corner. Now, I'm playing this with a controller using uh, Joy to Key. Um, because I play everything with a controller given the opportunity. But, uh, it's, it's keyboard mouse controls, typically. Um, you can play with up to four people, which is kind of be interesting with, uh, just keyboard. You can, you can make it work. It can be done. And maybe, maybe controller support has been added in since, and I just haven't... Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, but I do have enough to revive, so let's do that. And now we just have to make sure we don't let this guy kill us before we die, or before we can get him, because otherwise, that would be bad. That would be a good way to lose the game. Surprise indeed. And we killed him. Now, you can fatality the bosses, too, um, and they're, you know, worth monies for that. I didn't. I failed. So you get bonuses at the end here. You get bonus cash for boss fatalities. And then uh, another interesting element of the game sort of comes into play. Once you finish the stage, you get to purchase an item, uh, an upgrade. So you can, and usually it, it offers you an upgrade to one of your special attacks. Uh, but there are a variety of other little side abilities uh, that can give you some additional edge in combat good way to save up and spend your money between levels or if you're really ballsy you can just take some cash and move on um, but that's that's devil's dare uh, it's a simple brawler for up to four players that uh, it's challenging but the mechanics of it are so basic and pure that it, it really is a lot of fun uh, you can get check it out on Steam right now uh, thanks for hanging out and uh, we'll see you next time